here with cross country coach Ward Barron's coach. Uh, it's hard to believe we're talking about the regional meet, the, the last meet of the season. The season's gone really fast, uh, both uh, both from a training perspective, but also in the fact that uh, you know it's been a very solid season for you guys. It has. It's been it's been nice seeing the progressions that we've had with the with the younger classmen too, especially Mike the sophomore on the men's side. They've done a really good job of moving up too. So it's been it's been a fun season watching them grow. Let's talk a little bit about for, about Saturday. Uh, you know we. As we always talk, you point to two meets this year. You've got the MIC Championships and you've got the NCAA Regionals. So one of those is in the books in the in the uh, in, in the MIC uh, NCAA this weekend. What uh, what are we looking for? Well, I always these last two meets, we always think of them a little bit differently. There, there are two top meets for sure. The Mayak always look has more of like the team score, the conference. That's always important. But when you come to the regionals, it's definitely important because that's the that's sort of the individual. That's your advancing stage one. So we we like to have let people run as loose as they can because you want to run your best race there, feel good finishing off the season. But also the same point too, it may give you a shot to run out the big game too. So that's, that's always kind of cool. And you've had that happen last year with Jovan making it to the Nationals. Uh, talk a little bit, uh, you've got some momentum built up through the MIC. You had solid performances there. Uh, expectations for Saturday in Pella? Well, the racing, unfortunately, we can't control what everybody else does. We can only control what we do. Our region's shifted a little bit this year. We had some teams, and so it's going to change our dynamics a little bit on how we, how the advancing happens this year. What we can do, we know the course. We're going to go down. We're going to preview a little more. And I think we learned, we learned a lot from the, a lot from the course last year too, and really kind of how to handle things too. So hopefully, you know, I know other teams have too, but hopefully we can use that to our advantage too. How how important is it for the upperclassmen maybe to to give some advice to the younger people, especially on the women's side? You've got a number of people who will be running this for the first time. You talk about a walkthrough, you talk about viewing the course, but how much information can the upperclassmen give to those younger uh, runners as we head into into Saturday? I think a lot of it is about learning how to manage emotions and kind of the anxieties and stresses that come with it too, because this is a different environment. It has a much different feel to it. There's a lot more pomp and circumstance around it. So really kind of helping them navigate all the extra little stuff that happens that we haven't had to deal with before. The rest is, it's just a race. Once a gun goes off, it's just a race. Nothing else is different. But that whole build up to it, that's where the upperclassmen come in and can really kind of walk them through the process a lot easier. Saturday afternoon, NCAA Central Regional in Pella, Iowa. Good luck, coach. Thank you.